welcome to 5 Minutes with Phil. I've been living in the past recently and wanted to share with you how much I've been enjoying it. Final Fantasy IX is one of my favourite childhood games. I won't deny that a lot of its appeal is that I can still see it the way I did back then, but I still think the game's mechanics hold up well, although its pacing is painfully slow by today's standards. So the PC port's fast forward feature has been a godsend. It's real comfort gaming for me. I know the game so well at this point, a playthrough is more about ticking off everything as efficiently as possible and going for 100% even when there aren't any achievements for doing so. I'm doing this for the love, and even better, I'm enjoying this playthrough even more than the last one I did of it a few years ago, which is always nice. You know when you get into something so much that you lose track of time and suddenly it's the early hours of the morning? It's frowned upon by society, but it feels great to enjoy something so much that you lose track of everything else and it's made me realise how long it's been since I've been this invested into something. These days I go to bed because it's the right time to do so, and because I don't want to mess up my sleep routine any more than I need to, but it's a bit unsatisfying to do that, and when I'm enjoying myself this much I honestly don't care much about my sleep cycle anymore. Good sleep at a bad time is better than bad sleep at a good time. That was the first thing that brought me back to the past. The second was when my girlfriend wanted to buy a new rack to hang stuff on, and me, knowing it'll be used twice and then piled in the corner with everything else forevermore, told her not to bother, saying I'd construct one out of connects instead. Here it is. Not as strong as it could be, I'd rather have built it out of smaller, stronger blue bits and have crosses to reinforce it throughout, but I enjoyed constructing it intelligently this time around, only putting strength where it was needed. Built this whole thing in less than half an hour, quite proud of it if I say so myself. I loved connects growing up. Before I was allowed a PC, I spent my money on PlayStation games and Kinect sets. I had about 10,000 pieces. My parents said they'd hold on to all this forever for me, but they have been slowly handing me sets over the years. I think a lot of it got stolen when I was living in a shared house, but I still have this box of the stuff and have enjoyed going through some of the older stuff that I constructed with it. Here's a Kinect gun. Here's how it fires. Pretty cool. We used to have big Kinect fights using these things. Here's some chainmail that I made out of the grey bits. Completely bulletproof and super flexible. Problem is, you can't make more than just a long flappy bit of it, but as far as Kinect's armour goes, it's about the best you can make and I can't bear to break it up. Here's a Robot Wars robot that I made. It's the best one that I ever constructed. I don't think I could deconstruct this one even if I wanted to. The mechanism inside breaks off if you push the flipper too hard and it's a nightmare to try and connect it back up again, but you can see that it's a true tank of a Kinect's construction. And here's my latest attempt to make a repeat fire Kinect's gun. As a child I always thought it would be possible, but trying to make one the other year I finally decided that some things just aren't meant to be made out of connects, and there's too much friction and too many jams for this thing to be any more than just a curiosity. Here's a block I constructed to be as strong as possible. It was always my dream to build a house out of connects, though that's probably best left as a childhood dream than as a depressing adult failure. My mum could stand on this small block of the stuff no problem, though I'm not sure I'd risk it now because the connects has become depressingly brittle in the 20 years since it was first stored. Some advice, though it's probably too late for it, but don't store connects fully constructed. Dismantle everything before storage, because when I returned to my connects and started taking apart all of the old things I had made, so many bits started snapping off. I never broke connects at the time, but years of being connected together appears to have taken its toll. Before you pass me off as being a nostalgic old loser, I've been enjoying some new stuff as well. I've absolutely loved playing Mario and Luigi games on the Nintendo Switch. PC, Xbox and PlayStation might be what I grew up with, but they all feel samey and predictable compared with venturing into Nintendo's unique IPs. Luigi's Mansion and Mario Galaxy are two of the finest collection games I've ever had the pleasure of playing, though most of it has been watching somebody else play them and getting really frustrated when they seem unable to do a segment that I think looks easy. I also want to get into Zelda since it looks like a great adventure game that isn't afraid of killing you until you figure stuff out. The controls are really sucky though. I don't like the Switch's controller much at all. But that's okay, I've bought one that's a lot more like the ones I'm used to. I've also done a few jigsaws. The process alternates between fun and rewarding and long and tedious. You get some moments where you quickly place a dozen more pieces in, but then there are other times when there are so many samey looking pieces that you just can't be bothered to do it anymore. Or worse still, 500 different looking pieces that you can't even categorise into different piles. I like jigsaws because it reminds me that I can have fun away from the computer, and that I might not have been bored out of my mind 50 years ago if I had enough of these to do. I recommend a thousand piece puzzles because we tried a 2000 piece one and it was absolute hell. The pieces all broke off and the blobby repetitive image and art style made most of the process incredibly painful. So those are a few of the things I've been doing to survive lockdown.